Have you guys ever seen the giant sloth that was found by SeaTac Airport? Back on Valentine's Day 1961, a construction company was digging the foundation for a light tower for the airport when they unearthed an enormous bone. Paleontologists from the Burke Museum came down and sure enough, they discovered the majority of a skeleton from a Megalonyx Jeffersoni. Just in case you're like, what is that? Well, the Megalonyx was an enormous sloth that lived in this region approximately 12.5 thousand years ago. Thomas Jefferson actually got a claw from one of these delivered to him back in the 1700s and he gave it the name. Thing was though, he thought that it was a giant lion because when he saw that claw, he was like, oh, for sure, that's an enormous cat. Turns out he was wrong. The boggy marsh-like conditions of the SeaTac area were perfect to preserve that skeleton and they found the entire thing intact, except for the head. Megalonyx is now on display up at the Burke Museum, but if you would like to take a look at it somewhere else, you can also see a replica of it on display at the Heritage Highline Museum. The Highline Heritage Museum is right down in Seattle's south side and makes an interesting stop for the day. You can actually look at the Heritage Highline Museum's website, and if you're interested in experiencing it yourself, check out the fascinating SeaTac tours.